you know, how has that been for you? You know, being being like uh, you know, I guess one percent of the of the world. Literally. Yeah, literally. Um, it it always been a it been an element that I, I prayed like it was as a kid. I prayed to be tall as Michael Jordan. He was six six. You know what I'm saying? No homo sapien, but also pray for a big penis because I said I got those two things. I can get everything else. <laughs> if I got a big dick and I'm six six, the world is mine. <laughs> I could get the money. I could get in shape. I could I could be smart. I could be funny. I can't earn those other two things. Right. So once I got those two things, it was over with. It was like Thanos and Infinity Stones. <laughs> I started picking them up all over the world. I'm gonna get smart. Boom. Okay. I'm gonna get the money. Bam. I was just now my whole gauntlet filled up. Now there's nothing. Nobody can stop me. Right. Right. And I made sure I did that by doing certain things. My discipline is unmatched. Never drinking a drop of alcohol in my to total life. Never smoking weed. Never no drugs. Nothing. No baby mamas. I'm 42. So like I knew those were also. Um, extra stones that most people are not going to be able to collect and I was and I wasn't going to stop until I got all my stones at the same time so once I got the money the fame the glory and I'm and I'm still top tier in shape you know and I'm saying I'm and then I'm still six six and I got that schlong to stand up in a bitch I'm in, I'm impenetrable I'm unfuckwittable right right in any level of anything and that is that is crazy because yeah you you don't you know, if if I just saw you, you know, you say you're 42, but it doesn't right. appear that at all. Right. Like you are in shape. You you're the way that you move, how you how you speak is just you're young, like a young soul, not a young soul, like an old soul. Yeah, but a, I call it young gold nigga. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it's young gold nigga. It's, you know what I'm saying? It's a uh, you you're just a young gold nigga. Like you just it's just you keep your elements right. You know what I mean? Yeah. You, you stay tapped in. You know what's going on, but you're still wise. There's nothing more, you know. Uh, uh, like appealing than an older guy that conduct his self handle his business but still fresh and in shape and that's the best Youthful. element. Youthful, yes, because yeah. uh, a guy, because a kid will be twenty two. They're like, oh man, when I get your age, man, I hope I'm gonna be like that. I might even be better. Yeah, you might not make twenty three. Right. Like, is you fucking crazy? Like, you're not guaranteed to be forty two and still standing this sturdy in life. Right. That's a blessing from God Himself. So it's like to go through my whole life and still be standing like this and been the same cool guy since seventh grade, that's not normal. So when people think because they're young and doing something, yeah, you that might not last another year. Yep. You might not last out when you get in your car and make it home tonight. So well, like, you, what you talking about? You once know most people hit 30 years old, that's it, it's, it's going downhill, right. but it seems like you still 42, you don't look like you about to stop. Man, I, I'm going harder. I'm going cold plunge every, I'm going cold plunge every morning at 7 a.m. for 20 minutes. What's the benefits of the cold? You, you've been mentioning yeah, that. Yeah, and, and, and 40 degrees, so the benefits that it raise your dopamine. Um, at a high level, so you mm -hmm. your 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 energy is, is through the roof, and it comparable to it says high it it gives you higher like energy levels than you on cocaine. It's oh, higher than that. Damn. On top of that, it burns your fat cells five times faster. Your brown fat cells burn five times faster throughout the day, and then of course the healing properties of cold, you know, keeps your body in in, in tip yeah, shape and it raises your immune system. You know, and then it gives you some happy cells. I I don't know what it's called, um, but it's like happy cells enter your body from being so cold because you invigorated. So like, it's just so many elements that just change. And of course it raises your mm -hmm. testosterone. Like I'm older, so I need the help I can. I don't do no TRT and peptides like all these niggas be cheating. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. ain't cheated yet. I'm still Mr. Yeah. Organic, I still keep it pure. Any nigga you see that's a trainer and bodybuilder, shout yeah. out to them, but they got all the extras and they they're not doing saying all nothing. That extra shit, yeah, yeah, and they're not telling nobody. And they're, like, they're just looking like that. No, mm -hmm. you're on the drugs or you yeah. went to TRT yeah. and Replacement therapy and all. I get it, but I HGH never did that. HGH and all that. Yeah, come on, man. So I never did nothing. I don't even take. I don't even drink pro. I don't even drink protein or nothing. I just wake up and do me. So like, yeah, but I I I pay attention to those things. You know what I'm saying? I try to stay healthy as possible with my diet. You know, um, started try to eat organic stuff. They like, call me organic. So people mm -hmm. are like, oh, is you vegan? Is my name Mr. Vegan bitch? <laughs> like <laughs> my Mr. name is organic. yeah. So I eat organically. I made my own diet up. I try to drink and eat organic shit. That's how I do it. So yeah. yeah, that's how I stay tapped in. No nah, man, we you know we definitely got to tap in because I want to know more about how you you know how you eat and because right. you are, you are in shape and you do, you know like I don't I seen you work out and it, right. it doesn't seem like you kill yourself. Yeah, it seems like you have it. you have like a, a strategy. Yeah, you know what I mean. It's all me. I just stay. I try to stay. <clears throat> I try to stay uh, with the heavy side of things. So mm -hmm. you, I like to get my reps in, but I also want to go heavy. Because the heavier you are, it, it boosts that testosterone. Right. You gotta be strong as a man. And the more muscle you have, the more you're able to fight anything off. 
the older you get, the more muscle you lose, easier for you to break down. You can't stand up. That's you can't jump. After 30, most people, 99% of people are never going to take a full leap off that ground. That's They're never going to run full speed ever again. After that's you hit crazy. about 30. That's crazy that's when you think crazy. about it, right? Yeah, that's, that, that's crazy. Right, so I make sure I do those <clears> things. I do things when I'm jumping. I do things where I take a look run just to keep that activated. You know? I saw a video of you in high school dunking. Ben, that was 16 years old. <laughs> Yo, yeah, I'm you was 16. dunking at 16? Yeah, that's 16. And that was the number one school in, in our whole state we was playing against. The white boys was cold. You know what I'm saying? If you see looking at that crowd, it's yeah. filled to capacity. Yeah, yeah. The white boy gave us 49 that game. Whew. His name was uh, Kent Williams. And then he gave Jamar Crawford 46 points. Like, he was cold. So, like, and I, you saw me. I went right at him. High, dunk, <laughs> yeah. high. I'm not dunk playing. On him. Come on, champ. So, and that's at 16. So, I was a great athlete, but at the same time, I didn't have no <clears throat> discipline. I was very, I'm an insubordinate person. Yeah. I don't like following rules. That's one thing I can't do. That's why I had to be independent, be myself. That's why I didn't make it far in basketball. Even though I did, I would have went way farther if I was more um, subordinate right. and listening. Like, a, I was ignorant. Like, They'd be like, break it in, clap it up. I'd be like, I don't want a motherfucking clap. I think you have a greater purpose. Yeah. Would, you know, I I wouldn't even say ignorant. I think your purpose is, is higher than, I mean, you wouldn't, I mean, who knows? Maybe, maybe not. But you're, definitely your purpose would have been something different. I thank God every day I didn't make it in sports. You know what I'm saying? I, I made the song about it because um, I wouldn't have a voice. Name me somebody besides LeBron James that's a basketball player that has a voice that gives you inspiration, that gives you quotables, that, you mm -hmm. know, tell you this and that, you know. Kyrie tried and they fried his ass. He lost all that money. Show me someone else. Show no, me a no Tell one. me one football player. Oh, so shit. where are you getting motivation? Where are you getting inspiration from these people with all this money and all this fame? But are they giving you anything besides I can play be an athlete that's point mm one -hmm. percent a chance of doing this? Yeah. See me as Mister Organ. I got a voice. You heard what I. You see what I how I talk. Yep. That that who's giving that right? Who's showing you how to build a brand? Who who's the first real nigga on YouTube to tell these kids you pick up your phone? Film yourself, edit on iMovie. Then I wrote a book to show you how to be a successful YouTuber and entrepreneur. Organic Seeds of Greatness. Gave you the blueprint. Like, what athlete's doing yeah, everyone, What rapper is doing Everyone that? started following your blueprint. Right. After you did it, that is true. It never was OG. done. OG, yep. Right. Yep. So me and my dog, Tall Guy Slim, that's my, my brother. Like, we started this shit, and we gave so many people outlets to, to eat. So, And that's a blessing. That's my purpose. On top of that, I'm showing them how to build brands. I tell kids all the time, start now. Get you a T-shirt. Find your logo, wear it every day, make you some sweatpants, get you a hat. Instead of buying Nike, a Miri, and all this shit, wear your own shit. Now, where your friends at? They really fuck with you. Why you ain't wearing my shit? On? This 40, mm -hmm. you paying 40 for that. What's the difference? Right. This is me. So you have built that up as a kid. By the time they get to 12th grade, they did it in 5th grade. They don't have a $100,000 company. It might even be more. And they understand money. They understand building brands. They understand a lot. And they're saving their own money because they're wearing their own clothes instead of spending on other people's shit. So, like, Facts. that's the seeds I'm giving. You know what I mean? And it's a blessing to do so. I wouldn't have done it as an athlete.